fucking awkward because I hate talking to the camera and I already hate this and even just like making eye contact with the camera so if I'm like looking off to the side that's what that is but today I have nothing to do but I also woke up at like 7 a.m. so the day's gonna feel really long and I want to fill it and usually I just lay in bed drawing but I wanted to do something with my hands that like involves my hands more and my mom recently bought me six more speedy carve blocks for printmaking so I think I'm gonna carve a block because now that I have the materials I can like experiment more let myself try more things and so I also got um, like a phone clamp thing so I can actually like properly use my phone to record overhead drawing carving things instead of using a stack of books and balancing a selfie stick against it which is what I've been doing and that's why I hate part of why I hate making video content um, part of why I'm down to do it today also is because I actually got dressed so it's not even 9 in the morning yet and I'm dressed I have glitter on my face already that's how you know it's a good day um, I took like a quick 10 minute walk drank a cup of coffee, had some toast, FaceTime my friend Phoebe, like it's a good day. And so I want to carve a block and design it and carve it and print it because I can never actually just like carve it and leave it. I always have to see what it looks like, which is fine because it's fun. Um, I don't know, usually when I'm like drawing, or not drawing, carving, I get into like a flow space so it's going to be nice to pass the time that way and I guess... I don't know. I, I really don't enjoy making video content because it feels like a lot, not more effort, but like I have to be more presentable. Like I'm dressed now, but usually I would just be in this and like no pants um, with like my eyebrow hairs going all different directions, but like I don't have to like force myself to sit down and like properly just sit and do stuff because I'd be up all and about, the cats be fucking with my shit, so it's just hard to have a constructive video and I never had a way to like have my phone held and so I'd be trying to like film TikToks like while holding the camera and like filming in my hand just be like shaking and so yeah we're gonna we're gonna try this today come on Kiwi jump up here yeah come here come here babes this is Kiwi she doesn't like being held at all like at all she will oh. She always puts her butt up in the air when you scratch it. Oh. And Mango is literally sitting right next to where the camera set up, like on the table. I previously filmed a clip that I had to get rid of because he started rubbing his head um, on the phone and it was just shaking the whole thing. Maybe I shouldn't have deleted it, that would have been fun to watch, but yeah. I just, they love me. They love to be around me and I appreciate the company. And now this is what I'm going to do, because usually I'll go to pet them and they don't want anything to do with me, and then they decide when they want my attention, and sometimes I'll be doing things, but when it coincides that like they want my attention and I haven't like gotten into like a, a groove doing something, I just take it for as long as I can get it. Because soon she'll walk away from me and will not come back. She'll come back this time. Soon she won't. And if I touch Mango, he won't sit on the counter anymore, he'll walk away. So I just know not to pet him when he's nearby because then he won't be nearby anymore. And then he'll come up and like nudge me with his head and that's when I know. This just turned from an art video into a cat video, which is funny considering one, the sweater I'm wearing, and two, the fact that all I do is talk about my cats. Um, so this is very on brand. No, baby, no, baby.
Circling the runways, I'm about to take off. Rainfall is shining pavement, just like some lip gloss. Was pissed off, now I'm cool about it. Kinda shocked that I found an outlet. Been working on shit, they soon astounded. I'll climb a hill, they see a mountain. Sitting through this turbulence, shaking when shit turns to his. Watching rap in tournaments, see fake ass dudes all acting bitch. Like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, thought you made it big. Yeah, bought expensive shit. Now you returning all of it. And I kinda see myself in them. No, I gotta take an L sometimes. Hair getting pulled out by the stems. Just know I didn't cross no lines. See them when I close my eyes. Feel weird when a friend's nearby. Conversation really wastes my time. By myself when I lose my mind. Yeah. When the world is gone. And face the fact that I haven't made it yeah. Cop the latest gear or like ignore the basics And when the morning comes, man, I just fucking hate it Gates looming, lines zooming, moving while that bass booming Fear be the nuisance that's choking me more than nuisance Losing sense of direction, the way of losing depression Drank a little more and maybe even gave me some blessings so I just finished um, designing the block. It took a while because I also went into it having no clue what I wanted to do and then I was like, ooh, an afro would be cool and I took a reference from Pinterest for the hairline and this is what we got. It's very minimalistic, which I enjoy when carving because small details is not my forte. I also wanted to talk about how I transfer the image from the iPad to the block. Um, I actually f learned this on TikTok. I've learned a lot of things about like Procreate and digital art on TikTok. But um, what I do is I turn on guided access, which you can find in accessibility, and it basically like makes it so your fingers don't move the screen. And then I just tape a piece of tracing paper on the screen, trace over it, and then I put that, or like a tracer with pencil, I put that face down on the block and then just use like a little clay tool thing to transfer over the graphite. And then I'll trace it on the block with pen, it's depending on the design. Sometimes I just go straight in and carve it, but like my hand will smear it and then I'll be like, wait, where am I supposed to carve? And it gets messy. But yeah, that way I don't have to like print this out or like trace it a million times or whatever. But yeah, I'm going to get started on that.
So I never specifically stopped to show the block after I finished printing it or carving it before I started printing and this is the block. The eye and the nose were quite difficult. I hate small details but that's the point of why I want to practice is practicing the small details because people who I see do printmaking can get really intricate, like really intricate details in there so I know I can do it. And this is the final product. This test print specifically is just like a really good print in terms of like ink distribution stuff because I was really fucking up for some reason. But I really like how it turned out. Um, you know, me and my print thumbnail. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but yeah, it's most is I kind of think this would look really good on tote bags and the other blocks that I had if you've ever seen my stuff like the pouches and the postcards and stuff were just like really small carvings so I wanted to do something that took up the whole 4x6 block. Um, I don't really have any blank tote bags right now that I want to print but I am going to unroll some of my rice paper to do some really nice quality prints of these. Yeah um, I think that's it. I hate filming myself, but this clamp thing definitely made it a much easier, nicer experience. Um, hi Kiwi. <laughs> um, yeah, I carved a block, I designed it first, I printed it, um, I made a, some video content and that's good enough for me. So yeah, thanks for watching. Cringe. <laughs>